Hey everybody, I'm Ed. And I'm Barb. And, and we're, we're the, the Streeters. Streeters. Welcome to the RDRV channel where we teach, share, and explore all things glass. That's right, Barb. And this week we have something this really special for you. We took a, a few days and went to Lake City, South Carolina, where we were introduced to Art Fields, which is one of the Southeast largest art shows. That's right, Ed, and we are in search of glass. So um, we'll, we'll show you the best we found at the very end of the video. There is so much artwork here that we just didn't have enough time in four days to see everything. So yeah. if you're planning a trip, Stay longer because four days just isn't enough. Yeah, four days wasn't enough here in Lake City. We uh, we found out that not only are there several galleries within the community, but during art fields, each one of the individual businesses also house artwork. And there were a total of 387 pieces of art throughout the community. And like Barbara said, four days just we just couldn't get it all done in four days. So we've compiled a video for you and we hope that you enjoy it and this is this is a trip to Lake City South Carolina just visiting art fields yeah. we got some great things coming up it's the RDRV channel Ed here we are uh, here at the Rob in art fields in Lake City South Carolina I'm with Barb let's say hi to Barb everybody hi Barb how's it going good this is such a beautiful place to be we have a beautiful sunny Friday for the first day of art fields here in Lake City South Carolina and now we're getting ready to go inside the Rob and show everybody just what's going on this is a pretty interesting piece it's uh, found pieces of telephone poles, crystal, some of the first glass that I've seen since we've been here. Come check it out. So we're here in the Rob at Art Fields. Just wanted to show you the size of this building. Probably 50 or 60,000 square feet full of art, April 23rd through May 1st. We're walking through the RV park right now, heading into downtown Lake City. And we've only been one place. We've only been to the Rob. So what we'll do is we'll go as far as we can and work our way back where the rain takes us in. And uh, yeah. we might have to get a bite to eat, but there's a lot of good places to eat and a lot of art to see today. Yeah. So uh, welcome along. This should be a fun trip, right, Ed? Should be fun. Should be fun. Hey, everybody. My hip's not hurting me too bad today, but uh, <laughs> actually uh, we have shuttle access today too throughout the, uh, the downtown art district for Lake City. Okay, we're a short walk from the, from the downtown, so we're gonna walk on over. Nice sidewalks everywhere. Very walkable. Taking a break, um, and we're getting ready to walk into the downtown area. <laughs> Don't you love that sound? Listen to it. See some of it. Hey. So welcome back. I hope everybody enjoyed the train. The wind's coming from behind and mine and Barb's hair is in our face. But you know, here we are. We're sitting here at Lake City First Baptist Church taking a break. We're, right in our the fields. Side. we're gonna head downtown. So. We're gonna we're head downtown. Come on and go with us. But this is the square where they do the Saturday night. They give away the prizes and they have music, they have a big party, and then they give away hundred and forty five thousand dollars in prizes. That's the cool part. <laughs> All right, so this is where it all happens next Saturday night. This is where all that prize money will be awarded. Right here. Right, so here we are in front of the Beam Market. Inside today is a portrait drawing contest. Beautiful building inside, been completely redone. Usually where they have the artist breakfast on the last day of Art Fields. And actually the opening party where they give away, uh, sometimes they'll give away, you know, your own show at a particular gallery, whoever wants to sponsor that for you. So it's really an awesome place. So we're gonna continue walking. Stay with us. This is the, again, the Bean Market in Lake City, South Carolina. Welcome to Joe's Carter Gallery. Hi, beautiful people. My name is Abra, and I'm in Joe's Carter Gallery in Lake City, South Carolina during Art Fields, which is our annual festival in Lake City, South Carolina um, to celebrate Southern art. We have 12 Southern states uh, participating in Art Fields and this gallery houses a myriad of artists and their beautiful artwork. So feel free to check it out.
Just gonna take a quick shot of the mural all the way down. Main Street Mercantile is a non-profit organization. Uh, we carry gifts. Uh, we try to touch base with a lot of unique items. What is the address here? Uh, 111 East Main Street, Lake City. And how many pieces of art do you have in your store this week? We have seven pieces seven? of art. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Yes, ma'am. Seven. Okay. And the, the winners are in here. The winners are here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so come and see them. That's right. Come and see them. And you've been involved with art fields from the very beginning. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, I have. Okay, well, thank you for your support of the community and helping to bring this wonderful event to South Carolina. Well, thank you very much. Hi, I'm Melinda Hoffman, and I'm here in the Mercantile in Lake City, South Carolina. And I've written a book this year. I'm not in art fields per se as an artist, but I've written a book about Lake City and art. And uh, some of it is um, more modern than others. But then I've written it about trains. I've written about shops. I've written it about love. Now, love is the main topic. And love is an important topic in this country at this time. And so I'm using my voice as a professional artist to talk with you through my books about love and the support of a community and its love for each other. So if someone wants to buy your book, where would they go? Come they here? go to Amazon.com. Okay. And they look up lots of people love Lake City, Melinda Hoffman, and you'll find it there in hardback and in paperback. Okay. And then of course here at the Mercantile in Lake City. Okay. And I'll put a link in sure, the description perfect. of the video and then people perfect, will know where that's at. Okay. Well, it was so nice to meet you and good Thank luck with you your so book. Much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh. Um, so we are a paint and pottery studio focusing primarily in canvas painting and we do ceramics where you come in and paint already made pottery but we also do wet clay classes that include hand building and pottery wheel throwing. Um, a lot of those are book you book an appointment or you book a party and then we do offer scheduled classes and different workshops for all ages so we accommodate all the way from little babies all the way up so everybody can come do art here. And particularly during art fields, we have a lot of evening classes coming up every day of the week for all older adults and kids, or older kids and adults. Um, and then on the weekend, we have another workshop coming up. We're doing hydro dip pottery next Saturday. Um, and then we also, like I said, have the painter and pottery available to paint anytime while you're here. So you can find us on Facebook, O-L-I-O -O Studio at, on Facebook, on Instagram. Our website is oleo-studio.com or you can email us at info at oleo-studio.com or call us at 843-374-6546. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. My name is Herman Keith <clears throat> and I'm originally from Anderson, South Carolina and um, I am uh, mission uh, me and my team here, Jessica and Ethan, to uh, come back and restore a mural that we did about maybe five years ago. And it uh, was in conjunction with Lake City, um, uh, with Lake City, the town of Lake City here in South Carolina. And the mural is basically, was done by all of the art classes in Florence Public School District 3. Hi. And so we went to every art class with this particular mural with the technique itself was all, it's an all acrylic technique. And each panel is an acrylic panel. So we were able to roll it up, unroll it in front of the class, and all of the students in, this, in the town could basically start painting on it uh, and, and follow the, 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 the outlines that we had. And they inscribed the names in it, so they became a part of it. And so we were just, uh, and this has been up now for about six years, and what we're doing now is going back it survived two hurricanes and a lot of, in five summers here in Lake City of kind of bring back some of the vibrance to it and go over like this last coat of uh, varnish that kind of nipped up on us. So we're given an opportunity to kind of bring it back. It's entitled this moment for, from this moment forward. Okay. And it's a quilt design based off quilts from G's being Alabama. Um, within the quilt motif is a dandelion to kind of 
to, 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 to coincide with the, um, the, uh, the logo for Art Fields and with the dandelion pod. And behind it is a galactic scene because of Ronald McNair being, this being his hometown. Uh, we wanted to kind of represent him through, through uh, a galactic scene, to kind of the space scene. So nice. Monday night. You'll be oh, on yeah. the air, my friend. Awesome. Yes, awesome. sir. <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna have, have to subscribe to your Please channel. Do. Please I do. Will. Please do. I will. Please do. I will. So hi everybody, I'm Ed, and I want to welcome Mr. Glenn Godwin. Nice to meet you. Right here, and he's here at the RDRV, and we are staying here at the Crossroads Coach Resort at the Rob. And Glenn's going to tell us a little bit about it. Crossroads Coach, we've been here about 19 months, uh, so we're really a young park, but luckily enough we've had some great guests. Uh, slowly. After last year's uh, deal with the COVID, we have been rebounding back very well, and we're very fortunate that we have uh, been successful with an RV park in a small town like Lake City, South Carolina. Yeah, man, and, and it's awesome here. It, it's so clean and pristine. They do such a great job, and you know, like we've told you, we're here for art fields. Glenn also is a big part of the community, and I'd like him, if he could, just tell us a little bit about art fields and exactly what goes on here because this is such a great time for people that have never been here. Art fields is a southeastern art competition and it is held in Lake City, South Carolina, April 23rd through May 1st. We take hundreds of submissions, we get them down to 400, have judges that are voting, we have individuals that are voting throughout the week on their mobile phone. Crowds have been just absolutely wonderful. Uh, Yesterday was a terrific day for a Sunday, and we're looking forward to this week for a lot more people to take advantage of the opportunity to come to Lake City, South Carolina, and to see what is here. Well, and I want everybody to know out there, when you come to Lake City during art fields or, or any other time, this community has never met a stranger. I, you are welcomed with open arms the minute you get out of your car and start walking around. And I, I, I really, truly love this community. We, we try. We and try really Glenn, hard. Well, thanks for taking time to talk Thank with you. us here on the RDRV channel, and we'll be back. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. This is my piece, Our Work Eat the Guts. It's part of a series of sculptures dealing with dementia. Uh, I started that series as my mother was suffering from dementia. And there's 15 panels of glass. They're five layers deep, three pieces of glass per layer. And I wanted to, to break this image up of Eve so that as you're moving around it, she appears to be coming apart, fading in and out, much like somebody with dementia's memory will do. The feathers and the peace symbolize knowledge, wisdom, personality, the, the, the intangible things that make us who we are. The piece itself is constructed from fused glass. This is an actual photograph that was fused into the glass. Stained glass pieces, clear textured glass in the background. The tree itself is made from copper evaporating tubing, wire, and a copper gauze. The ribbons here are copper coated steel wire, flat steel wire. The wood that the piece is made out of is white ash, and the apple itself is made out of red cedar. Hey everybody, it's Ed Barb. We're here at the RDRV channel. If you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs>